We're back. No, Big worse. fuck off explosion. Just learning to see a little more clearly. I did what I thought was right. Recaps of all the shit we had to fight. Isn't that great? Yeah. You killed her. I'm sorry, I wasn't a bad daughter. The old sack is gonna pay for what you did. I'll crush you with my bear. I still don't know what the context of that is, but I'm hoping we'll find out as we're playing. So, right, we're doing episode four. I apologize for all the delays. I also apologize for everything that's been going on, for the sound you're going to hear in the background. That's my air conditioner because it's hot as balls today. I'm sorry about my voice. I have a sinus infection. This has slowly been not quite going downhill, but ugh, it's been uh, it's been not fun this week. But hey, we hope to uh, we hope to get a lot done today. Who knows? You're perfect. <coughs> Six months from now, you're going to awaken as me. And the world is going to be very afraid. So she wanted her as a clone. So good night, my darling. Sleep well. Maybe not a clone, like All a. All this time wasted. My whole life has been a prelude to this, my true birth. Time to meet the cause of our misery. What is this place? Doesn't matter. Let's find the overseer. All right, and another common Resident Evil trope is we, the last level is always some kind of laboratory. Now, if the color's a bit different, I'm exper experimenting with the settings, trying to get a, a better color look. It may end up being worse, so I apologize. I don't know what that did, but. Oh, it's supposed to be like a. Opens that up sluice another path. changed the direction of the water. Yeah, but let's find where? out what's here. I don't recognize the place. Look at the video feeds. We've been through most of these areas. And she's been watching our every step. Goes through all the people who are dead. <sighs> Shit. Alright, let's see how we're doing. She's got plenty of health. Uh, I can hear an ice cream truck outside, but I can't go do that. I'm busy exploring this extremely blue, blue area. Why is it blue? I have nary a clue, but it's blue. Uh, okay, let's see what's up this stairwell. Oh, God damn it. Like I said, if I sound like death, I apologize, but... Notes on the transfer procedure. We'll take please. Spencer, you path poor, pathetic old man. Oh, this must be what, uh, Alex Alexia, Alexis, whatever. You spent your final year essentially searching for the secret of immortality, and you died while your research was still getting complete. But I have been continuing that research. The body will age. This is an inescapable fact. But we can escape our death by transferring our mind into another vessel. All of my efforts have been invested into developing and refining this system. We've had a few successes, but I still have much more to do before I can consider my work to be complete. As of now, I can confirm the following. The new vessel must be mentally strong and able to overcome any emotions of fear. After the transfer, it will take six months for, before the transfer mind can be stabilized. During this time, the vessel should be protected at all costs. Time is of the essence. I must work quickly. I don't know. 
I just can't figure the Overseer out. Well, I can, and I'm a goddamn moron. Neil's report. Stuart, it looks like the most suitable best role is going to be that little girl after all. The other candidates have potential, but that girl is an e entirely different class. She is incapable of feeling fear. That's not surprising when you consider what she's been through. Getting caught up in the Terragrigia panic at such a young age, having everyone she knew be killed, losing her parents right in front of her eyes. After speeding those kinds of horrors, what is there left to be afraid of? The only problem is her age, but that's a problem that will take t that time will take care of for us. She's a perfect candidate for your purposes. Oh, great. Thoughts on Kafka. I have a love-hate relationship with this story. Perhaps I can relate to it more closely than I'd like to admit. One morning, Gregor awakens to find himself transformed into a hideous insect-like creature. His family is bewildered at first, but they do try to take care of him. Even he becomes t eventually becomes too much of a burden to them. Nothing more than an ugly monster a nuisance to the family. When Gregor learns of this, he retreats to a solitary death. Upon his transformation, Gregor has been supporting the family. Now that he is no longer useful, he was a burden to them. They were relieved when he died. I, too, have been bred to serve a purpose. Once that purpose accomplished, I, too, have would have been cast aside. But I refuse to shrivel up and die in solitude. I refuse to let myself die a hideous monster. Oh, you must have felt that same way, too, Alfred. Or Albert. Ugh. Uh, well, guess what? Life sucks. You're turned into a fucking monstrosity, and you're trying to kill a kid. For reasons, I don't know. You're you're crazy. That's a that's an appropriate reason I would say. How are we say. gonna get through? There's got to be some way to reach the other side. Huh. Yes. That's a clever hiding spot. Oh, wrong side. Oh, it is the wrong right side, but... Nope, I'm not strong enough to push it. Huh. Maybe we have to go back down. Uh. Okay then, maybe there's a control panel over here I could grab. I'm not 100% sure. Now I feel dumb. I'm I, I'm sick and I'm dumb. I'm sure you're happy about that, players. I'm sure you want to see me try to figure this shit out. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Alright, let's try back in here. Maybe I'm missing something. Alright, that can be pushed, but I... Oh. Yeah, I figured it out. Water's heavy. Oh, fuck me. Oh, there we go. Alright, we're through. Let's hurry. Okay, let's go back down then. So, I'm curious what the big boss is going to be, because in the last episode it was Mr. Uh, it was Neil there. But I don't think they'll be pulling him off again. Simply because... Alright, let's see if it's down here. Oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. I missed the stairwell. That's right fucking there. Where where the fuck do I go? I think I'm being dumb, guys. 
There's a stairwell that gets to the other area. Sit up top and I'm blind and missing it. Nothing down there. Might be up top and I'm just being an idiot and not looking in the right place for it. Thrilling gameplay as I get lost and unable to figure out simple directions. There we go. I was dumb. Tragically, tragically dumb. Anyway, so yeah, so far from what I grasp, uh, Natalia there is supposed to be, at least from. Ooh. We meet at last. You came all this way just to say goodbye. Oh, I'm touched. It's already done. I've conquered fear and earned the right to become a god. Come out from behind that glass so I can choke a god. All that remains is one final test. One last threshold to cross. Is she even listening to us? My brother's escape was death. And soon, it will be mine as well. The fuck is she doing? I will share in his fate. And then, I will surpass him. What are you trying to do? She's gonna escape. shoot herself. Yep. Eh, fuck you. You turn into an ugly hag. Oh, that's what I wanted. Warning. Confidentiality protocols initiated. Self-destruct sequence of the facility's upper spire will begin immediately. If you are oh, currently goody. situated in an affected area, please remain calm. We need to get out of here! And let all the answers die with her? Back to the elevator! Hurry! I am not sharing a coffee with that nut dog! Yep, running. Fuck it. I don't understand the neon, but then again, this is Resi. They never went for realism, they went for what looks cool. And I can't really blame them there. Ugh, okay. So, taking bets on what the next boss is going to be. It's either going to be like a semi transform transformed Alexia there, or Alexis. I can't remember. But it's either going to be a semi transform one of her. Or it's gonna be... Well, they haven't set up anyone else. This game has no equivalent of like a nemesis, so... You're right. I can't see it. There's something in here with us. Oh, there we go. Eyes peeled and go. All right, so we're fighting those things, the bugs. Okay, 
do I have? I have nothing else. There we go. That's why they put the boxes there, because it'll bump into them and kind of reveal its position. Nifty. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, that's nasty. That wasn't cool. That wasn't cool in the least bit. <coughs> comes from that way. There we go. Hold on. Uh, that's not cool. That's not cool in the least bit. Okay, so smoke grenade, smoke bottles, reveal them, but flashlight don't. That's kind of frustrating. Oh, God. I realize I'm being a stellar host here. I apologize. You're right. There's something in here with us. There we go. Pistol. Just keep your eyes peeled and I can go. Use that. Save some hand get ammo. to panic. We can't let her win! Oh, come on. Come on, hurry up. I gotta bring this somewhere. Come on. Oh, I see. I need to climb up on that fence thing there. There we go. Climb! Why aren't you climbing? Oh, I have to put it. Well, I just wasted 20 seconds of my time because she moves slower than death. 
Not a problem. Not like we're rushed. Ugh. Oh, come on! Is this really necessary? Do you really need to pad out the time with this shit? Like, I understand, like, bringing, uh, what's the term, tension? But this isn't tension. This is... This is just fucking chores. Oh, and this shit! Just let me jump off the side. You you made it so I'm supposed to jump off the fucking side. Don't make me do this. Uh uh uh. Okay. Uh. There we go. Damn it. Oh shit. Maybe that's why they do that. Okay. Don't have a right to complain anymore. That was dumb of me. That was very dumb of me. <laughs> oh, I have to st start all the way back here. Thanks, thanks, Capcom. We can't let her win. All right, come on, come on, move a little faster. You can do it. Imagine A thinking he'll do something if it doesn't, but I'm an idiot, so. No, that's not the one. Can you use one of these thingies? Got a smoke bottle. Because who knows where we're gonna run into one of those things again. Let's sprint back. Well, I can't sprint. Because I'm carrying a fucking box. Again? I hope you do with the way you're talking. Uh, uh, so yeah, the uh, I wasn't expecting gold with this game. I mean, I'm a Resident Evil fan. I'm used to disappointment, but some of these design features, I don't know what was going through their brains, really. Damn it! We need to find a way across. Oh, okay then. So she's gonna jump up and she's gonna knock down the fences, I think. I see what I need to do. I need to. Push that here. And then have her. Push that there. Yay, we're free. Now opening this door. Now opening this door. I should I should have searched for parts, but didn't have the patience. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh. oh god. I never really liked the collapsing layer thing. It's just never something I really dug. 
Especially for a survival horror game like Resident Evil. It just comes off as... What the fuck? Alright. I'm gonna be so pissed if I need, like, another... Oh, fuck me. That's the way we need to go. Alright, I got a minute left. Will I make it? Not if this gives up, no. Oh, fuck me. Uh, I'm shit. Uh. Well. Let's try this again next episode. See you guys in a bit.